Hey, what's up guys? My name's Chris Winter and in this video, I'm gonna go through the top 20 small business ideas for this year. Now, the great thing uh, is that most of these businesses can be done by beginners, so complete beginners, and you don't need a whole lot of startup money to get started. In fact, you might not be able to do this even if you're completely broke, which is always good because I know not everyone has access to a whole lot of money. But anyway, let's now get started with these 20 business ideas for this year. All right, so the first online business that you could do is to become a virtual assistant. And the best place to do this is at a website called upwork.com. And essentially what upwork.com is gonna allow you to do uh, is to get jobs online without actually having to be in a physical location. So the first job that I was saying is to be a virtual assistant. And you can see that these people here have been earning a lot of money working from home. So Morgan right here has been earning $17 an hour, made over $10,000. Uh, Megan here has made $20 an hour, over $70,000. And essentially what you would do as a virtual assistant is uh, provide assistant services to people over the net. But if you've got skills in bookkeeping, I'd definitely take a look also at Upwork because you can get paid a whole lot more. So for example, Mike here, he's earned over $200,000 online on Upwork because he's able to charge $150 an hour for his bookkeeping services. Linda here is charging $50 an hour and has earned over $100,000. Robin, $55 earned over $100,000. So you can see that these guys here are making a whole lot of money. They're all from the United States. And essentially all you need to know is how to work in a software like QuickBooks, which is essentially an accounting software or a bookkeeping software, just knowing you know the basics of uh, income and outgoings and things like that. And also uh, there's another another software called Xero, which is another one which you might wanna learn at. So you could spend you know maybe uh, three months learning about bookkeeping and you could definitely uh, get a job as a bookkeeper on upwork.com. So next up is to sell your services over at fiverr.com. Now this is a little bit different to Upwork because you'll essentially be doing it on a project basis. So, uh, you know, there are so many different things that you could do over on Fiverr. So you could do voiceovers, you could do translations, you could do transcribing people's text, you could uh, write small blog posts and things like that. But originally what Fiverr used to be was you know, selling your jobs for around about $5. These days it's changed a lot and you can do kind of certain gigs. So you could do a gig, uh, for example, designing an Amazon product listing image. Uh, these guys here are gonna be doing it for like five gigs worth, which would be like $25. I'm in Sweden, so this is in Krona. Uh, but you can do so many different things. Logo design, if you're good at that. Uh, if you want to know how to help people with their social media, you can do that. If you've got a nice voice, you can do a good voiceover. You can do translations, illustrations. There are so many different things that you can do on Fiverr and it's a great way of making a good amount of money, again, from the you know from your own home. So if we take a look at this illustration here, done over 1,000 orders, Wigo Wiggles, he's a level two seller and he's done over 1,000 orders and his premium package is around about $50. 300 crowns is about $50. And all he's doing is drawing these kind of uh, illustrations and then selling them to people on Fiverr. Another job that you could do is to review things either on a blog or a YouTube channel. And I think that uh, my channel is a really good uh, example of this. So I have a second channel. This one here is called Chris Winter Photography. And essentially what I do is review cameras. So if someone's looking to buy a camera, uh, I've made that camera review and you know talked about it, shared my thoughts with it. And you can see that lots of people like to watch reviews before they buy them. So for example, this here is a Canon T6 review. I made it three years ago and it's already had 800 thousand views uh, and there's other different kind of uh, videos that I've made so for example if someone's looking for the best beginner DSLR this one here's had nearly a million views this one for 2019's have 700,000 uh, views and you can also do tutorials as well uh, which really get a lot of views because people are always interested in learning how to use their cameras or maybe their phone or if you uh, you know reviewing barbecues you could also teach people the best way to barbecue but you can see that you can definitely get a lot of views and the great way of making money through this is either through google adsense which is essentially google's way of making uh, selling ads on your videos so you know the videos that you get before uh, your the ads that go before your videos and you can also do affiliate products as well which i'll talk about now so next up is to become an affiliate marketer. And this is something that I've done through this other channel, which I was talking about just before. But essentially what affiliate marketing is, is if I uh, review a camera, for example, let's take a look at this one here. This is my review. You can see these links right here. So these links go to Amazon. And if anyone goes to Amazon and then within 24 hours 
buys this, I'm going to get a certain commission from this. So uh, that's the reason why I have these links in this review. And actually thousands upon thousands of people have bought this camera and every time they buy this camera, I get about a 4% commission. So let's say a DSLR costs around about $1,000 just for basic sake, I'm going to make $40 off each of those sales. So imagine if 10 people do that a day, I'm going to end up making $400 a day. So if you look at last year's affiliate earnings through Amazon, uh, I was making $10,000 a month in January, 8,000 in February, March, I made 9,000, April, I made 9,000 again. Uh, made the same so you can see that you can really make a lot of commissions through affiliates and this is just the Amazon Aff associate program which is their affiliate program but there are also other ones like the Shopify affiliate program which I'm also a partner of and you can see that uh, just this month's month alone I've made nearly five thousand uh, dollars you know making three hundred dollars a day two hundred dollars a day 165 just through promoting different products and that's affiliate marketing. If you want to check it out, I have lots of videos on my channel all about affiliate marketing. So if you're good at doing illustrations or designing logos, I'd also take a look at 99designs. And 99designs has been around for ages, probably 10 years or so. And essentially the way that it works is you can uh, either get hired as a designer to create logos or you can be in a contest and essentially what you would do is you would go up against you know maybe 20 other designers uh, you'll get a brief from a company and they'll say okay we want this levels logo to be created we want it to look like this do your best and then they will uh, put up a bounty of maybe you know three thousand five thousand ten thousand dollars for a logo uh, and then if you win you get that bounty so uh, if you know that you're going to be good at creating logos this is a really good way of doing it Another place to sell your work, and this is a bit more of a passive income strategy, is to go on graphicriver.net, and this is part of the Envato marketplace. Uh, essentially, what you can do is you could, uh, you know, create all of these different kind of templates for people to download and use, and every time someone does it, uh, you're going to get paid for it. So let's, for example, take a look at this. So someone's going to create a brochure. So we've got this brochure right here. This is for a brand manual. It's just going to be a Photoshop design or an Illustrator design and people are going to pay $15 for this. That might not sound like a lot, but this guy here has had 2,688 sales of this. So if you think about that, 2,688 times 15, this guy's just made from this one brand manual alone, he's made $40,000 just from this. And imagine, I'm guessing that this guy's going to have a whole lot more. Uh, he's going to have all of these different types of brand manuals. So if we think about it, we've got uh, $40,000 times, let's say just roughly, he's gonna have 20 of these. This guy's gonna be making close to a million dollars in passive income because he's gonna be making these brand manuals upfront and then in the end, uh, you know, people are gonna be buying these every day, even though he probably made these, you know, a year or two ago. So this is a great way if you're really good at design, maybe you're good in Photoshop, maybe you're good in Illustrator, this is a really good one, graphicriver.net. So another thing that you can do is create a YouTube channel. Now it doesn't have to be a reviewing YouTube channel. So for example, this year I created this channel that you're watching right now. Uh, this is my second channel. It's just about business, uh, you know, how to make money online, uh, different things like Shopify tutorials, dropshipping tutorials, just pretty much anything to do with making money online and being an entrepreneur. Uh, and you can see that, you know, this uh, this channel is only relatively new. It's less than a year old. And some of my videos have already got, you know, 100,000 views, 50,000 views, uh, over 100,000 here, uh, 185,000 here. So all you need to do is make, a, make videos on what you're passionate about. Uh, it's a good idea to uh, really be passionate about it because it's a lot easier to talk about. Like this video here, I can just talk about it and talk about whatever business ideas there are. But this is definitely a great thing to do. The good thing about this business niche is that they have a very high CPM or cost per mil. So for my ads, I get paid quite a lot for each of the different views. So even though this, you know, this video here might only have two and a half thousand views, I'll probably still make a hundred, couple of hundred dollars from this one video. Whereas if you're going to be doing like a vlogging channel, you might only get paid, you know, two dollars uh, per thousand views or so. So. Uh, yeah, definitely a YouTube channel is still a great way to do it. And like I said before, you know that you can make money through ads, you can make money through affiliates, you can make money through print on demand, which is something we're going to talk about now. Or you can do what we're about to talk about and create a podcast. So the next business idea is to create a podcast. And this is similar to a YouTube channel. But the great thing about podcasts is that they're booming. They're really popular at the moment. A lot of people are listening to podcasts. And as you can see, this, for example, is the Joe Rogan podcast. It's one of the most popular ones. It's got over 6 million 
subscribers and these videos go for three hours long. So three hours 21, 313, two hours 36, two hours six. This one here's a bit shorter at one hour 30. But you can see that these are really long, uh, long form content. So people are really sitting down and enjoying listening to you. And again, you can make so much money from this through ads. So you can imagine how many ads would be put in this three hour video. But then of course you could also get brand deals with uh, sponsors like Squarespace or Audible and they would really, they will pay a lot to be part of your podcast. And then again, you can do affiliate things like we were talking about before. You could promote a product. You could talk about the microphone that you're using in your podcast, get someone to buy that and then you're going to be making a commission on that. And all you need to do with a podcast is essentially get a microphone like the one I'm using right now. It's a Blue Yeti, costs around about $100 super easy to set up just plug it into your computer or you could even use your phone if you have one because the microphone and that's pretty good and you just record a audio file and then upload it to a website i think the website that i would recommend is called anchor.fm and essentially with anchor.fm uh, they will share your podcast all the way around the world so they'll do it to the uh, you know apple podcast google podcast to spotify all you need to do is upload it and then they're going to share it to all of these different spots and you can actually get paid from it through Anchor as well. So podcasting is definitely something that I would look into as well. And I just quickly want to add in a really good video. This is by a guy called Geeky Nerdy Techie and he makes really good videos. Uh, he's got a video about the best cheap podcast setup. It's like $85 all you need to get started and it's going to be with a microphone and like a preamp uh, and it, this is a really good setup guide so I'll try and link this in the description box below. Next up is to create a blog and monetize it. So this is with Dollar Sprout. This is a really good example. These guys here are making a killing. So this is a blog where they, you know, make different posts about, you know, banking and how to make money, how to save you money, how to invest. And the reason why I wanted to share dollarsprout.com is because these guys in January and February this year made $347,000 blogging, which is mental. That's over $180,000 a month. And you're probably thinking, no, that can't be true, but it's actually true. They've got all of their revenue reports right here, uh, their expenses and things. And you can see how they're making their money. Uh, some of it's through ads. Some of it is through affiliates. So for example, if we take a look at like a, um, a banking thing here, you're going to see how they're making money. So, uh, through different uh, checking accounts. So checking accounts here, this might be an affiliate link uh, or that one's not right there, but you, you'll see that they make a lot of their money through affiliate links. So if we look at their resources right here, they've got their best investing apps and you can see that, uh, so they've got Acorns, Stash, Betterment, M1 Finance. So if you click on anything here, so open an account and you open an account with Acorns, they're probably gonna make over $100 for each people who sign up for here. So again, same with Stash, and I'm pretty sure that they will have a little uh, kind of disclaimer here. Yep, Dollar Sprout is a paid partner of Stash. Um, do, do, do. So they're all paid partner, partners, which means they're affiliates essentially. So they're gonna be getting a really good commission account when uh, whenever anyone comes on. Next up is to create a course and a really good course that I like is Ryan Scribner's course. Essentially what he's doing is creating these courses where uh, he teaches you how to do affiliate marketing or you know how to do the stock market. And you can see that his course here is actually selling for $1,246. So this course here is a course that teaches you all of the best ways in order to uh, you know do affiliate marketing, which is what I've told you. And you know he might get a thousand people enrolled in this course and a thousand people at $1,246 is gonna be a million dollars, over a million dollars, which is pretty impressive. The great thing about courses is that all you need to do is just make a few video videos. It might be, you know, 10 videos, might be 20 videos. And if you made those videos a year ago, you can still sell your course every day and make a good amount of money. So uh, this is all through a website called Teachable, which I'll show you right here. So Teachable allows you to create different courses it's super easy to set up it's kind of like a website builder and all you need to do is upload your videos you can upload text files and things like that and then people can pay you to get into your course now you might not sell your course for a thousand dollars like ryan scribner is but you might also be able to sell it for fifty dollars and let's say that 10 people sign up that's an extra five hundred dollars you've made super easy now, if you're good at writing, you can help people out with resumes. Uh, a lot of people struggle writing with resumes uh, because 
a lot of people don't exactly know what to do. You can see that this guy here, Reed, he's really good at doing this. So he's a resume cover letter, LinkedIn and content writer. So he's earned over $30,000 doing this and he charges $65 an hour. Ashley here is the number one ranked executive resume writer. She charges $50 an hour. Lalina charges $75 an hour. Nikki charges $120 an hour. So if you're good at, you know, uh, writing a cover letter or writing a resume or a CV, this is a really good way of making a bit more money. Now you can also sell things online through an online shop. And the best place to do this is called Shopify. It's the number one, uh, you know, online shop creator. Uh, it's a fantastic website. And essentially what they will do is give you these awesome templates. So if we go here, uh, so they have these different themes, which are essentially templates for your website. And you can see that they look really professional. These are super easy to set up. In fact, if you want to know more, you can check out my YouTube channel. And I'll show you one of these demo Shopify stores. You can see that they're super professional looking and you can sell your products really easy. Now, what products will you have? Well, it depends. If you've got a digital product like Ryan Scribner's courses, you could sell your courses on here or you can do something like drop shipping, uh, which is where you use an app called Oberlo. And essentially what Oberlo is going to do is connect to AliExpress, which is Alibaba, uh, all these Chinese factories and manufacturers and then you can drop ship through them so someone will order this uh, drone on your own website and then the people in china will send it to uh, your customers without you ever owning the inventory which is really fantastic it's a great way of doing it that's quite an in-depth kind of topic to go into and if you do want to check out some uh, videos on drop shipping i'll put them on my channel as well and last is to do print on demand, which is essentially where you design a logo or a design, and then you don't even need to own any of the merchandise or caps or you know frames and things like this. And they're gonna print it for you, send it off for you, and you just get the uh, profits. So for example, let's say we have this logo right here and you wanna sell your own hoodie. Uh, with Printful, you can easily do this. All you need to do is upload this logo and then you can choose from all of their different products. So we can take a look at their products here. They've got men's clothing, women's clothing, hats. Uh, you know, you can print out a pillowcase, a bag, and all you need to do is upload your design. Then you can sell it on your website for maybe $30 and it costs Printful $10 and you get a $20 profit. What's great about this is that you uh, don't even need to have any of the inventory. So you don't need to have the t-shirts, you don't need to have the ink, uh, you don't need to deliver it. They do it all, they send the tracking number. It's a super easy way of making a good amount of money uh, from the comfort of your own home. All you need to do is come up with a cool design. So there you go guys, there were a whole bunch of small business ideas. Hopefully some of them will work for you. Hopefully some of them will click with you and you'll be able to get uh, start making money as soon as possible. That's it for today guys and I'll see you next time, bye.